Jamming Joe Van Dyne. Hey, we got Tyler King from the Brain Dead Morons and Plum Tard. Jonathan New out of Somerset, Kentucky. And we're going to have an intimate piano concert in the uh, bar area of the saloon. It's like an old saloon at night with Stephen Phillips. So that's going to be super sweet. That's Friday. Not to mention open mic on Friday. And then we're going to camp out. And I'm inviting musicians from everywhere. Come down. If you can play, bring your acoustic guitar, whatever it is you play. And we're going to make a big, huge networking thing out of this. I want all you artists to meet each other. Come meet me personally. I've talked to a bunch of you cats on the phone. I want to meet you in person. So definitely get over and do that with me. And, and it's free. Just bring a tent. Or rent a cabin if you want to rent a cabin. you got to go to possum-trot.com. Um, I'll put a link up to it on the Facebook page, facebook.com backslash The Under Music Show. You can also go to airwaves.com, A-Y-E-R-W-A-V-E-S.com. And I'm probably going to put up a new website for this uh, just strictly um, about the festival. But then on Saturday, we're going to have uh, the competition thing. we got all kinds of cool shit, too. we got hiking trails, guided ATV tours. we got wagon rides. we got Dunk Tank, a bounce house. Yeah, a bounce house. Dude, I am throwing money festival and it's all free do i need to say that again this is free for you guys i am throwing this awesome festival and i'm not even charging you to come do anything and come hang out meet people meet me have some beers with me eat some food we're gonna have good food uh now the food and stuff you gotta buy but once again i'm not shelling out for food i got somebody that's hooking me up he's hooking me up with land and he's hooking us up with food and stuff so he's got to make his bank and that's cool you know because he's giving us a place to do it bringing it to the stage like we're going to film the whole thing and then we'll get it played on television throughout kentucky and tennessee boom you're welcome so definitely come because even if you're not a performer on stage we still might film you playing one of your songs with your acoustic guitar somewhere and you're going to get full credit for it in the video that goes out and I'm hoping to get it seen by millions of people. It's going to be my goal. And I'm pretty stubborn. So I usually do stuff until it happens. So it's going to happen. But Saturday, we have Curtis Blakely. Awesome songer, singer-songwriter coming up, man. He's just a kid. He's like 17 years old. Dude, it's awesome. So stoked to have him. We have Rick Yost, old singer-songwriter. Dude, it's incredible. You're going to love it. We got Claudia Tillman. Andy Marie Vessel. Oh, man, her new album is so good, dude. It is so good. So, so good. We have Sugarline Blue out of Nashville, and we got Zach Joseph and the Society as our headlining act. I am so stoked about this. I hope you all come. Just come and hang out, have a beer, listen to some tunes with me. Oh, snap. And I've actually been in talk uh, with some comedians out of New York. I might be having four comedians come down, and we'll do a midnight at 3 a.m. comedy show. And that's going to be pretty cool because we've got a big pavilion as well. And we're going to have them in that. And this is the type of thing. Everybody meets everybody. There's nothing separating. You know, if you're coming, you're a musician, come prepared to meet other musicians and fans. And because it's free, I want a lot of people to show up. But I'm hitting that point now where I'm like, man, you know, it's July 15th and 16th. This gives me almost two months to market this thing. I could get way too many people to show up to this thing, but it'll be super sweet. I should definitely charge money. I might next year. So you guys come and enjoy it while it's free. And if you're ever interested in playing it, please shoot me a line because this thing is great. Last year I did it in my yard. And this year somebody gave me 46 acres of land to do it on. I am rapidly growing this thing, and it's all free. I have to keep telling you that because I need you guys to come uh, support it. Uh, and I'll keep supporting you. And if you can play, dude, bring your stuff and come play. And uh, we'll just set up with open mics, campfire jams. I want you guys to meet each other and be able to share what you do because we got these cats we're going to talk to here in a little bit out in California. All well, these cats from Tennessee, you got a cat from New York, one from Denver, one from West Virginia, one from Florida. All these people from everywhere are coming to this thing to play. Now we can all meet each other and kind of really grow our network and, you know, if we all grow together, that would be so super sweet. So definitely check it out. I get a website up soon. I'm I'm hawking it like crazy, and I don't even have a place to tell you to go and look at it. But it's it's pretty sweet. It is super sweet, man. And we're working on a beer sponsor. And if the beer sponsor comes through, this is going to be awesome. So awesome. I'm going to drink way too many beers and rock out. And you guys are going to love it. I'm going to MC the entire event. I'll be doing interviews. Rocket will be there doing interviews for radio shows. And, and not just for 
Arizona or Kentucky or Australia, but we're working on Kansas, Maine, New York, the uh, Birmingham, United Kingdom. Yeah, yeah. And we got a few other things in the work too. So these interviews are going to be broadcast everywhere too. So if you come out, even if you're not a performer, if you're just a guy who writes selling bronze guitar and want to do the open mic and hang out and meet people, still get in line. Talk to Rocket. Do an interview with him because it's going out there. We're putting it out there. There's nobody telling us we can't do it. So we're doing it. So definitely take advantage of that while we have it. Uh, we probably even, you know, he might even record you playing a tune or something. Might get that thrown in there as well. I'm putting that all on his shoulders. I told him we're doing that. So now it's on him to do it. But come out and definitely talk with him and do the interview and share who you are with the world. It's going to be super sweet. But here in a minute, we got Static Fiction coming up. I'm going to play one more of their tunes, and then hopefully we'll be chatting with them. And then we'll roll back. You're listening to The Josh Air Show. Don't forget to check us out online at all the many places you can check us out online. And if you have tunes, send them to us at airwaves.com, A-Y-E-R-W-A-V-E-S.com. And don't forget, July 15th and 16th, the Airwaves Music Loves Festival in Scott County, Tennessee. It is free. It is fun. You better be there. Josh Harris Show. Hey, buddy. This is Ryan from Static Fiction. Hey, dude. What's happening? Nothing much, man. Cool. We just finished listen, uh, listening to your strong uh, Main Street, actually. Oh, that, how about that? Yeah, I mean, it kind of worked out. I had to fudge the end of it a little bit to make it line up with the phone, but uh, you know what? I can fix it in post, and no one will ever know, except because oh. I, I said it. <laughs> oh, cool, dude. <laughs> oh, well. What's happening, brother? 
Uh, nothing much. Literally just got off the golf course, so perfect timing, as oh. you say. Dude, the golf course. See, this is why your life is so much better than mine. I'm sitting in like a, a dingy studio basement, uh, like doing a radio show, and you're out playing golf in California. Well, granted, this is my first summer off in ten years. Oh, I've, okay. I've been a musician, and I literally, um, my last tour was with the Maxis, and we went all. I went through the worst snowstorm I've ever, ever had. When had the norovirus return tour, so I figured, you know what, I deserve eighteen rounds of golf when it's nice and sunny out. Okay, now do you drink when you play golf? Oh hell yeah! Okay, golf. Every, uh, all right. Every everyone over, you have to do a second, and let's just say I'm happy, I'm sober, but holy Jesus, the first night, ugh, ugh. Well, you, you, I hope you ended with the the nineteenth hole uh, shot. You know that natural rule that every stoner musician knows is like, all right, I'm done doing something. Take a shot. Oh no, yeah, we we have that. We we took some um, we have some Knob Creek out, and we all took a nice nice fat shot. Nice. That was actually a double. So yeah, we we definitely followed the uh, the unwritten code, as as you say. Good work, good work. Well, tell me this, man. What 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 all's been happening? Like, it just I. I don't really talk to you guys actually at all. I've interviewed you what once before, and that was I think what, yeah. like what a year, two years well, ago. Maybe two years ago, yeah. Yeah, dude, what's been going on? Oh, um, well, uh, Main Street. That I guess that that came out. That's our that's our latest one that we recorded with Ryan Green again, and this time it was. I wouldn't say it was gnarlier because I felt we we were more connected to him because we already went through it once, but that just meant that we had the whole sophomore, not slump, but more, he was a senior that was still going around paddling us and was pushing us to do better and better. And when I say paddling, he would go up behind us and rub our shoulders in a weird way and go, I know you can do better. You can do better. And you know that just by the way that he kind of rubbed his shoulders, it's not like a prison rub down like if you don't do this right you know what you're going to get yeah no I, I had an uncle like this i know exactly where this is going <laughs> <laughs> okay well since we're on that thing let me ask you this personal thing i was born and raised catholic now since i wasn't molested am i a true catholic or was i just not cute enough to be molested no you're not a true catholic my mom, you're not a true catholic yeah, you're going to hell if you don't get molested by the priest then you can't get into heaven you know, my mom told me I looked exactly like Macaulay Culkin, so I guess I just wasn't his type. Blonde hair, blue eyes. He he, he wanted that stuff with the border stuff. Yeah. I mean, damn it. Yeah. Sorry, man. I, I'll see you in hell. I can't grow a beard, so I, I have to go to hell for that. So we all have our we all have our thing. You could get molested by a priest, and I can't grow a beard. <laughs> well, I'm Filipino. All I got is like this weird mustache that looks like a nest of daddy long legs. Just hatched from like my upper lip that's all oh, i got yeah yeah never gonna be yeah you're going to hell either yeah. way now <laughs> you're just lose <laughs> lose brother <laughs> good 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 then i'm happy i'll, I'll see you there then. yeah Bye. we'll play cards we'll take some shots maybe they have golf i don't know i, I suck at golf but i'm really really good at drinking oh perfect that is perfect because i am I need a better drinking buddy. Just from years and years of touring, I can tell that my tolerance level is up. And playing with people I went to college with, people I used to drink with, they're just a bunch of pussies now. And I'm going, come on, guys. It's just a half a bottle. No, I'm right there with, dude, my days out on tour with the wheels, it, it, it turned me into an alcoholic, like hands down. I'm like, that was just it. You, everywhere you go, people just buy you drinks and give you shots. And, oh, man. It did, my I I I'll tell you if I make it into my sixties I'm probably on borrowed time. Borrowed time, I think I might steal that one from you and turn that into a song if you don't mind. But Is, I definitely will give you credit for that. Yeah, you just put put me in the song. Just be like, hey, and give a shout out to me without anybody knowing it but me. Oh, that's fine. That's, that, <laughs> that'd be fun. easy, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, the only well, you have to well, do is lie to me. You know, <laughs> be like, oh yeah, that that was a shout out for you. <laughs> No, 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 no. You, we'll, we'll call you so it'll be like one of those things to where I record you over the phone, you say something witty, I say something witty, and then bam, song starts it. All right. Something about borrowed time, yeah. I, yeah, that, oh, that's, 
I, the joys of work with Ryan Green. I already have an idea. So this is how it's going to happen. Boom, 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 boom. Let's do it. <laughs> this guy drinks too much. Put him on the record. <laughs> no, well, dude, like, 